tak sa preukáže, že... If it is proven that the death of the investigative reporter was connected with his journalistic work, it would be an unprecedented attack on freedom of speech and democracy in Slovakia. It's a murder that's shaken a nation. Investigative journalist Jan Kuciak and his fiance were gunned down at their home in Slovakia last week. Having dug deep into the underground world of political corruption, Kuciak could have had powerful enemies. He was killed before finishing an investigative report that linked some Slovakian politicians with Italian organized crime. But the killing didn't silence his work. Several Slovak newspapers printed his final article after his death. Outrage over his murder has brought thousands of protesters into the streets. And Prime Minister Robert Fico has offered a $1.2 million reward for information about the killings. He's also downplayed media reports that a probe into the slaying centered on one of his closest advisors. So is it now dangerous to be a journalist in Slovakia? And will Kuciak's murder spark political change? Well, joining me to discuss this and more is one of the slain reporter's colleagues from Br Bratislava, Martin Turček. He's an investigative reporter at Actuality.sk. And he worked on the same team as Kutsiak. First of all, Martin, my condolences. I'm very sorry that you lost a colleague um, and a friend, I'd imagine, and his fiance as well. Who do you think killed Jan and Martina? We cannot be sure at this moment who killed them, but we have our suspicions and we're confident that it was connected to his investigative work. Tell me to what extent he had rubbed up powerful people the wrong way with his work? Well, he reported on various cases connected to corruption, tax fraud, uh, grants given for projects that didn't make any sense, and his last report was on connection between uh, guys connected to Ndrangheta to the office of the government here in Slovakia. Right, and now we know the president has been outspoken, calling for a government shakeup, maybe even new elections, a prime minister was angry at that, and the Prime Minister said, Mr. Fitzo, that the President is dancing on the graves of the victims by trying to politicize this. Is the Prime Minister wrong? Well, I think he also said that journalists are dancing on Jan's grave, and I think he's uh, mistaken in that nobody is dancing on Jan's grave. We're all very, very... Mm -hmm deeply hurt by what happened. Of course. And if I could ask you, on, on a personal level, do you fear for your own safety, given that you do the same work? Not right now, but we uh, have to partake in some security precautions, but I, I have no fear. When you see thousands of people take to the streets and use this as a, a launching pad to talk about broader corruption and the fact that they believe criminals are deeply invested in the state, do you think there's an, I guess, I'm not sure how to, how to ask this, but do you feel that Jan would be proud of the fact that people have felt that his death would not be for nothing? Yes, I, I think so. I think Jan would be very glad that uh, tens of thousands of people came to honor his memory in March last Friday. And I also think that Jan wanted people to be uh, more aware of, of uh, how corruption yeah. spreads in Slovakia and, and think about it and think about how they, how they might want to change that. Yeah, uh, and Martin, given the, the work that you do to the outside world, explain to us, in your opinion, based on the work, to what extent have criminals got their hands on the levers of power in your country? Uh, well, it seems that criminal elements are, are connected to many politicians in Slovakia. It's, uh, we, uh, we've investigated numerous cases of political corruption and we've almost gotten used to it, but f uncovering uh, political corruption that is close to guys that have ties with mafia, that's, that's still a, a new thing here. Mm -hmm. And all of those arrested recently were released within 48 hours. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, I since we don't have detailed information about the investigation, why uh, they were arrested or why they were released, it's, it's kind of difficult to, to comment on that, but I, I, I have trust that police wants to investigate this uh, thoroughly and, and independently. Do you believe that this is the beginning of major change in your country? I hope so. Hmm. If you had a message... Uh, 
if it, it might be. It yeah. certainly seems that it might be. Yeah. If you had a message for the Prime Minister who's saying, uh, guys, but, just leave it... The Prime Minister saying, guys, uh, just leave it to the courts or leave it to the police, leave it to the investigation. As you said, you know, don't dance on the graves of the victims. Um, there are those who are saying, well, the Prime Minister should be investigated himself, right? If you had a message for him, what would that be? I wouldn't really like to give any messages to Prime Minister because this is this is thing of a political concern. And for us as journalists, the, the biggest concern is to, to report on what's the truth and f find that out and report on it and not to really mm, affect politics in this way as, as sending messages to. Uh, okay. to the Prime Minister okay. or the Minister okay, of Interior. And, and that's fair enough, and I, and I think that's, you know, that's uh, commendable. Uh, if, Martin, if I could ask you, those who killed Jan and Martina, whoever they might have been, felt they're going to silence journalists and they're going to stop journalists from digging into dodgy finances or digging, in, digging into dodgy politicians, is that going to work in Slovakia? Are journalists going to be more afraid to uncover anything wrong? No. Tell me That's why you're, why you're so confident. That's definitely not going to work, and I think that whoever is responsible... I think whoever's responsible for Jan's murder already knows that it was the biggest mistake of his life, that he cannot silence Jan, he cannot, cannot silence the rest of his uh, fellow journalist colleagues, and we are already forming uh, Slovakia-wide investigative team and also Europe-wide investigative team here in Actuality SK to work further on Jan's topics and to make them heard to, to the whole world. So I, I think nobody can, can in the future hope to silence anybody uh, by, by any of these horrific actions. Martin Churchek, I really thank you for joining us here on The Newsmakers. It's been a pleasure talking to you.